were a physical assailant. An unexpected and invisible mugger. Which I can tell you, from personal experience, it is. Then this is the moment when we have begun together to wrestle it to the floor. And so it follows that this is the moment of opportunity. This is the moment when we can press home our advantage. It is also the moment of maximum risk. Because I know there will be many people looking now at our apparent success and beginning to wonder whether now is the time to go easy on those social distancing measures. And I know how hard and how stressful it has been to give up, even temporarily, those ancient and basic freedoms. Not seeing friends, not seeing loved ones, working from home, managing your kids, worrying about your job and your firm. So let me say directly also to British business, to the shopkeepers, to the entrepreneurs, to the hospitality sector, to everyone on whom our economy depends. I understand your impatience, I share your anxiety, and I know that without our private sector, without the drive and commitment of the wealth creators of this country, there will be no economy to speak of. There will be no cash to pay for our public services, no way of funding our NHS. And yes, I can see the long-term consequences of lockdown as clearly as anyone. And so yes, I entirely share your urgency. It's the government's urgency. And yet we must also recognize the risk of a second spike. The risk of losing control of that virus and letting the reproduction rate go back over one. Because that would mean not only a new wave of death and disease, but also an economic disaster. And we would be forced once again to slam on the brakes across the whole country and the whole economy. And reimpose restrictions in such a way as to do more and lasting damage. And so I know it is tough, and I want to get this economy moving as fast as I can, but I refuse to throw away all the effort and the sacrifice of the British people and to risk a second major outbreak and huge loss of life and the overwhelming of the NHS.